Millsies. All right, we're going. RJ. Same exact opener so from both players. <laughs> Look Whoa, at that. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, missed drop from that RJ. That was trippy. All right, it looks like, there you go, yeah, there's the uh, spin. Ooh, RJ looking for the dono. Nice dono. Does get it, yep. All right. RJ. All right, there's Ooh. another dono. Waiting for the L, good choice. Yeah. Both players looking good. Uh, a little bit of mist dropping here for Salted Red. But I mean, both players aren't in the most comfortable board for their zone, but RJ cleans up. Very nice counter board from RJ to yeah. shoot the zone. Yeah, definitely needed. Looks like Salted Bread is going to try to build up some APM prior to the zone. You can see on RJ's board that yellow garbage, that's added attack that Salted Bread will potentially send. He can finish the zone at the same time. Wow, wow. 61 attack ulti. So even though Salted Bread finished that zone at the same time, RJ successfully defends with a 61 ulti. Very nice. All right, so into phase two, 47,000 points already. We're going to get wow. a high score, very efficient. The higher score typically means more efficiency. Ooh, but look at this pressure from Salted Bread pushing up RJ to more than halfway up the board. RJ having to take the TSS, but gets down nicely. Yeah, nice. Ooh, and procking zone, interesting. Yeah, this is a bit of a defensive zone for RJ here. I think Salted Bread can use this opportunity to, to form an attack. Yeah, Salted now in the driving seat. Yeah, with the 5-4 stack. All right, here comes another T-spin, TSS. This looks, this is shaping up to be a very potent zone by Salted. Yeah. 50 attack, and that's a big chunk of cheese for RJ. Into phase three. RJ is all cheesed up. There is not much he can do. He's gonna have to find a lot of, a, a huge combo down stack here. Gets a nice little combo, staying alive. Has a quarter zone. Ooh, and that looks like it. Yeah. yeah. So Taltic Bread takes game number one. Wow. Salted Bread with the 105 DPM. Well done. All right, 6-3 again for both players. Sprinting. Sprinting away at this. Very clean stacking. Mm -hmm. Setting up a little donation there. Just to throw off RJ a little bit. And another donation here for... Oops. Wow, right at the top of this board. <laughs> yeah, a little bit awkward there. But now both players in max zone. RJ procs first. Yeah. Likely soon followed by Salted. There it is. Salted going with the 9-0 zone. Very effective for speed. And is able to find two donation T-spins. Salted Bread and RJ. Wow. Very strong zones for both players. RJ with another ultimatrice using IRS. Ooh, I like this prophecy from Salted Bread. Yes. Ooh, oh, going for the C-spin. Well done. Beautiful setup. And RJ is like not in a great position to defend against this attack either, so this could really put him into an uncomfortable position. Although Salt and Mist dropping, gonna be forced to clean that up, and that gives RJ time to recover. Yeah. And Salt and Bread's gonna press the win button early here. I don't know if this is gonna work out too well. This seems quite defensive by Salted Bread, and with RJ looking like this zone is yeah. going to be, yeah, getting the last TSD yeah. off. Salted Bread needs to hope that RJ does not kick it into Phase 3, but unfortunately, wow. it is Phase 3. And 
instantaneous KO there. We got a one-to-one -one match. And I'm getting the feeling that the transition from phase two to phase three is going to be very instrumental in this match and how the players choose to, um, where they'll choose to tank that first round of messy yeah. damage. PCO for Salted Bread. Ooh, Salted Ooh. zoning very early if, and not if, going to be able to get it off. Okay, if Salted Bread can open up the well in time, it should be okay. Lots of pressure, oh, though. Oh, no. Oh, these mist drops are not going to help. And RJ with the STSD looking to finish. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. That was a rough one. Very unfortunate series of misdrops by Salted. A little bit risky to try and set Teesman's up that high on the yeah, board. Yeah, for sure. It definitely is, and it sometimes is necessary. Oh, here we go! Sailboat! There's the sailboat. <laughs> and RJ going for the uh, MS2 variant. And it looks like we got one of Salted Red's lab experiments that he discovered. One of oh. those insane sailboat continuations and rj unable misdropping both of his <gasps> t's no shot this is looking very rough on that on his board but is able to recover yeah wow rj is gonna have a big 6-3 uh well to uh potentially get a fast zone here and they do 42 attack, but bad, fast 42 attack, so that should be enough to keep him alive after Salted Bread responds. Yeah. Okay. So we got an even match here. RJ actually is in quite a good position given he finished his zone earlier. So uh, RJ should have an earlier zone charge. Nice count to four. Yeah. And look and at the C-spin. Ooh. Oh! That's a tough misdrop for Salted Bread. They're only going to be able to salvage a TSS from that. RJ procking the zone, but this does give time for Salted to get down to a safer board state. Salted choosing to continue stacking T-spins yeah. up top there. Salt is going to have to go through this zone really quickly in order to have a chance to survive. Because RJ sending a STSD right in phase three. And that now is rough. Cool. Another one APP round for RJ, securing tournament point. I've noticed that it, it seems like RJ is counting to four very nicely in the down stack. Yeah. But Salt is choosing to go for some very risky setups at the top of the board. Yeah, for sure. Different approaches to uh, adversity. It's RJ definitely going with a safer option of counting to four. So it might be what this, it could be potentially what's making the difference. Because when both, both of them are clean, I think they're just sort of going to trade blows, but it's really when the misdrops happen where there's a sort of a lead change in the overall match. Yeah, and I think it's important that Salted chooses when he plays those risky setups wisely. Yeah. Because when he's trying to finish RJ off, but RJ isn't in really in danger, um, Salted Red puts himself on the back foot. Yeah, for sure. Look at this zone. Oh, he almost got the ulti there. He had that... Um, Three wide gap necessary to do the non IRS ulti. So great zone there from Salted Bread. And actually, this extra pressure is going to be very wow. strong. Nice T spin oh, at the top there from gosh. RJ. Yeah, that was close. Almost got the square piece ulti just one row off. Salted looking for this T spin. There it is. Does get the L. Ooh. Well, does he find the TST? No. The board is a little too jagged, and 
gonna have to make compromises. And pretty clean walls for Salted. Slight misdrop on the S there, but nice, nice L spin to fix it. Yeah, great fix. And it seems like we have both players trying to get to a safe state on their board as we inch closer to phase three. Ooh. Yeah. Again, though, rough misdrop on Salted's side. I think RJ's trying to send the finishing blow here. Salted Red has really got to figure out something fast. And look at this LST stacking from RJ, the 7-2. And almost an ulti, 55 attack. Nice proc by Salted to try and cancel off as much of that cheesy garbage as possible. Yeah. Still a full board though, it's oh. looking rough. Can he get the quarter zone in time? No, he doesn't uh. press the win button! But that still would have been a tough, a tough down stack. GG's. Very well navigated by RJ and Valiant effort by Salted. It's good yeah. All right, uh, would you like to give our champion their interview? I think RJ deserves a champion's interview. Sure thing. Uh, I, think, I think we could have them both on. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, because Salted will close the stream uh, as he usually does. So Sounds it'd be good. also funny to have the loser interview the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also the winner interviewing the loser, if oh. you think about it. <laughs> That's great. All right, well. Thank you guys uh, for having us on uh, and enjoy the rest of the stream and have a great night. Yeah, we'll be right back with the interviews. Yeah, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the conclusion of uh, Xeno Tetris 12 and oh, I love that. yes, we have our winner, RJ! RJ! So, how, how did victory feel after PPT? <laughs> Uh, I, I think it was a, a, t a tough fight at the end because mm -hmm. there, there was that one round where you're like... RJ, the, move the your mic up. Oh, yeah. There, there was that one round where your pressure just uh, just brought me into submission, similar mm. to how you were doing it in yeah. PPT. But I, uh, but I think there, there were some sli uh, slip-ups towards the end oh, where, yeah, where, yeah. where you gave me the chance to uh, just go for the mm -hmm. knockouts. Right, yeah. No, I, I misdropped a lot more in... Uh, TEC, but like I was trying to do the same strategies, just like focus, you know, don't mm -hmm. <laughs> misdrop, but I misdropped a lot, so mm -hmm. it was unfortunate. But that one win was really encouraging. I'm like, all yes. right, I can do this, I can do this, and then sadly, it wasn't a day, but you know, one mm -hmm. day, like it's, it's very encouraging. One day, mm -hmm. you know, maybe. So, well, one day you'll be, you'll be back yeah, and I'll learn you, how to you, press you, the win button. Yeah, you'll be doing the same things I'm doing, mm -hmm. and then some. Hey man, I, I picked up how to learn IRS, and then now I need to learn IHS, and mm -hmm. then will be good. So I guess, you know, I feel like this time it was very interesting. Well, first of all, we lost a few members. So um, press F in chat for Dre's car. Mm -hmm. Press F in chat for Baseball Boy, who had to attend the birthday of his friend. Very unfortunate. Press F for that. And George, who is sick and cannot make it. So press mm -hmm. F for George. Yeah. And no, it was interesting, mainly because they weren't here. And yet our place was booming with a lot of... Nestor's people. So mm -hmm. again, what's your thoughts on that and their support for well, the local scene? Yeah, you, you love to see it because we want to build upon 
what, what we started last time. So mm -hmm. the foundation that Shockey right. and Pooh set, and, exactly. and, and and now we have some even stronger players showing up this time. So we yeah. want we wanted to show them much love and give them the the right platform to compete, which they did. Oh yeah, totally. They they competed the like great. crazy, dude. I saw I saw letters instead of numbers and twice on both screens i was like wow mm -hmm. i saw that on tv but i never it was interesting watching them play because you know when you're like they look so cool and composed and i don't i feel like when we play i don't know like i never watch this or i do watch the <laughs> replays but like i don't know if we're that composed you know mm -hmm. so it was really interesting just like the difference in how they played classic compared to how we play. just like you know their vision it's totally different from ours mm -hmm. like and how i feel like we could learn a lot from you know just not even you know like from players themselves but like how they play the game and definitely how they skim because i know the top players the japanese players too like the way they skim does not calculate in my mind mm -hmm. so maybe the nestra side will help us with that mm -hmm. That, that this is a chance for our, both our, enjo uh, our both our audience to enjoy, but mm -hmm. uh, us players as well. Yeah, because no. that, well, we were having a great time. Yeah, no, uh, it was great. Yeah, everyone here. Yeah, totally. Like I guess uh, it was cool seeing reactions from uh, you know the Nestor's folks about the House of Three Thousand production. It was like pretty cool. Yeah. Like they're really hyped about it. The instant replay feature, obviously. I feel like everyone loves that, and it's cool. Like how much they appreciate it, and cool in how. Dan utilized it because we suck compared to them. We Big suck <laughs> at using <laughs> the instant replay, so we gotta we gotta up our game, and we can't lose to them like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so we gotta we gotta put a game plan on how to use the instant replay system. That's right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, again, I'm very thankful for the support of the classic folks. Like literally, they just show, showed up in droves when the modern side was incapacitated obviously not to the fault of anyone mm -hmm. except for baseball boy's friend how <laughs> dare he how <laughs> dare he schedule his birthday on top of Zeno, bro <laughs> but yeah not like happy happy birthday to your friend uh, mm -hmm. baseball boy yeah I, I think we'll be able to build upon uh, what we we're able to do today mm -hmm. and in the next one we'll we'll once again pull off all three events and yeah it'll be a little much improved mm -hmm. yeah, yeah definitely I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna bring an ethernet switch yeah bring an ethernet like the definitely the, the pc, PC gaming yes that seems to be my life. yeah that, that, that mm -hmm. seems to be a thing that's gonna stay for future xeno and i guess you know like if we normalize it enough maybe we can even run to tree hut the side if people bring enough laptops because mm -hmm. i feel dude we had like four laptops at least mm -hmm. like maybe we can even do like a tetrio tournament because like that's the weakness of the venue you know not having computers but if people bring their computers bro it's tetrio you don't need massive specs to run it so mm -hmm. and like yeah we'll dabble in the waters later when we have the chance but for now let us refine you know running three events at once because mm -hmm. definitely we do run over time probably like the past couple of xenos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i guess uh i don't know what do you want to say to people in chat that is loading or whatever <laughs> that that are here to watch you play and you know i i would say th thank you all for uh, uh, joining us on today's uh, xeno the supporting us along the way and congratulations to salted congratulations to opox yeah for uh, for winning T winning PPT mm -hmm. and Classic respectively yeah, no, just and looking crazy. forward to competing next time. Yeah, totally. Like we haven't scheduled the, uh, you know, Xeno yet for the next couple of months, but you know, we'll try to do that and we'll let you guys know as soon as possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably, probably the end of April. Yep. Yeah, okay, and yeah, that sounds great. It's like a month from now. So yeah, like again, shout outs to George, you know, for helping us with the advertising, doing all the graphics for us. Like really appreciate what you do. Mm -hmm. And I guess yeah, like we'll try to see how we can expand the event. Obviously, ways to increase the price pool because i think you know we're playing really high levels with tetris mm -hmm. and i want that to be rewarded and yeah you know just remember you know support the local scene and all that mm -hmm. yep. and i'm just you know excited for future xenos yep can't wait mm -hmm. so i guess uh any any parting words for the fans rj Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! yeah. Double champions! Yeah! The, <laughs> the first time! Yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, you have a good night. Again, thanks for watching and, you know, see you next time. Peace. See you next time. Mm -hmm.